For this question, we're asked to describe how we would determine the wavelength of an electron in a cathode ray tube if you know the potential difference between the electrodes. So we're going to assume that the electron starts at rest so that the initial kinetic energy is zero. At the cathode, the potential is zero. So the electric potential energy of the electron is zero. So therefore, the initial energy of the electron, uh, E sub i, is equal to zero. And the final energy of the electron is kinetic plus the electric potential. So the final energy, E sub f, is equal to the kinetic energy of the electron, which is 1 half mv squared, assuming it's moving non-relativistically, which at this uh, distance is and these speeds it shouldn't be, plus the potential energy, which is negative, the electric charge, E, times the potential from the, uh, the tube, V. So assuming that energy is conserved, we have an E initial equals E final. Again, where E initial equals, forgot to write this, it's equal to zero, right? So E initial equals E final. So if we plug these values in, we find that one half mv squared is equal to the electric charge E times the potential V. Or in other words, the velocity V, which is what we're going to use to find the wavelength, is equal to the square root of 2 E V divided by M. Now, since lambda is equal to Planck's constant H divided by mass times velocity, we can plug in our velocity value and we find that it's equal to Planck's constant H divided by mass times the square root of 2 E V and then it's divided by the square root of m, but since it's divided by, uh, since the square root of m is in the denominator and it's the v value is in the denominator, the square root of n can be put on top. But root m over m is the same as 1 over root m. So this is also equal to Planck's constant h divided by the square root of 2 times m times the electric charge e times the potential v. So we can box that in as the solution to our question.